So my name is Eric Stoller. I do higher education technology consulting. I write for InsideHigherEd.com, and I also host a weekly web show called Student Affairs Live on the Higher Ed Live network. Okay, so this obviously is not your first NASPA. No, no. Um, so kind of, what were your expectations coming into this specific NASPA, and then, you know, did it meet it, and then did, kind of, did, you know, has it been better than previous NASPAs, or, you know, kind of just give your, your thoughts on that. Yeah, I think it was, it's about eight years since I did my first NASPA, and, you know, I think each time it gets better. You know, each time I, I get to meet people, I get to know people, I see familiar faces each time. You know, we sort of pick up on conversations that we started before, um, and I think the other thing too is the technology gets better. Uh, when I first presented at NASPA, it was about website statistics. That was a long, long time ago. And now it's social media, it's talking about Twitter, it's talking about Facebook, it's talking about you know, having a, a web show on the internet. What is that like for professional development? And so I would say it just continues to improve, it continues to grow and evolve. And, and I think that's one of the strengths of NASPA is that it, it, it doesn't stay the same. Each time you come, there's something different for you. But at the same time, at the core of that is, is the community of practitioners, the community of scholars. Cool. Um, obviously, they offer a lot of different kinds of sessions for varied interests. So, uh, what was one of your favorite sessions to attend this year? I think my, my favorite session this year uh, would have to be the, the senior student affairs officers or SSAOs uh, who, who tweet, who are on Twitter. Uh, it featured vice presidents of student affairs who are on Twitter using that medium to communicate with their students, to get the word out about things, to make connections, to do educational learning things. And they were brave. You know, the courageousness of being a leader in that space is kind of unique. You don't see that a lot with VPs who use technology in that way. So for me, that was my favorite because it was inspiring and it was energetic and exciting and it taught me some new things and it taught a lot of folks in the room a lot of new things. And I think that anytime you're in a session where you learn things, that's a good session. Awesome. And so what's one thing that you're going to take back from NASPA, um, kind of for your personal growth and then um, things that you may share with others? Obviously, the networking piece, you know, meeting so many wonderful people is something that I'm going to take back and it's going to impact my life professionally and personally for years to come. Uh, the networks that you establish, that's what makes it for you. Uh, because we can do a lot of the learning uh, by reading things online, reading books, journals, etc. But it's when we come together in real life and we make those connections, that, that's when we make the most meaning out of the experience.